Hello everyone, and welcome back to YouTube Daily Military, the first-in-class aircraft carrier USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, deploys on a routine deployment, May 2nd. Ford is the capital ship of the Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group which consists of Gerald R. Ford, Carrier Strike Group, CSG-12, Carrier Air Wing, CVW-8, Destroyer Squadron, DSRON, 2, Ticonderoga Class Guided Missile Cruiser USS Normandy, CG-60, and Arleigh Burke Class Guided Missile Destroyers USS Ramage, DDG-61, USS McFall, DDG-74, and USS Thomas Hudner, DDG-116. U.S. Navy Video by Mass Communication Specialist Seaman Simon Pike The first-in-class aircraft carrier USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, returns to Naval Station Norfolk, November 26. The Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group returned to Naval Station Norfolk following a scheduled deployment with allies and partners in an effort to build strategic relationships and contribute to a stable and conflict-free Atlantic region, while also showcasing the U.S. Navy's most advanced class of aircraft carrier. The Navy's newest and most technologically advanced aircraft carrier, USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, contributed to another milestone for naval aviation during carrier qualifications, CQ, for the Wallbangers of Airborne Command and Control Squadron, VAW-117, May 12th. The Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyer USS Ramage, DDG-61, conducts various evolutions in the Atlantic Ocean as part of the Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group, October, 2022. The first-in-class aircraft carrier USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, is on its inaugural deployment conducting training and operations alongside NATO allies and partners to enhance integration for future operations and demonstrate the U.S. Navy's commitment to a peaceful, stable and conflict-free Atlantic region. U.S. Navy Photo by Mass Communication Specialist 2nd Class Sawyer Connolly USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, returns to Naval Station Norfolk, following initial deployment with the Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group, GRFCSG. More than 4,600 sailors assigned to Ford operate in the U.S. 2nd Fleet and 6th Fleet, enhancing interoperability and interchangeability with NATO allies and partners. Throughout the deployment, the GRFCSG sailed more than 9,200 miles, completed more than 1,250 sorties, consumed 78.3 tons of ordnance, completed 13 ongoing replenishments, and hosted more than 400 distinguished visitors. The Gerald R. Ford-class aircraft carrier USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, departs Naval Station Norfolk, October 4. The Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group, GRFCSG, is deployed in the Atlantic Ocean, conducting training and operations alongside NATO allies and partners to enhance integration for future operations and demonstrate the U.S. Navy's commitment to a peaceful, stable and conflict-free Atlantic region. U.S. Navy Video by Mass Communication Specialist First Class Chris R. Lindstrom Sailors assigned to USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, respond to a simulated casualty aboard USS John C. Stennis, CVN-74, this integrated fire drill was a combined effort across Ford, Stennis, and Naval Station Norfolk to increase proficiency of all units in the event of an actual casualty. The Ford-class aircraft carrier USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, and the Italian aircraft carrier ITS Cavour, CVH-550, transit the Atlantic Ocean, marking the first time a Ford-class and Italian carrier have operated together underway. As part of the Italian Navy's Ready for Operations RFO, campaign for its flagship, Cavour is conducting sea trials in coordination with the F-35 Lightning II Joint Program Office's Patuxent River Integrated Test Force to obtain official certification to safely operate the F-35B. Gerald R. Ford is conducting integrated carrier strike group operations during Independence Steaming Event 17 as part of her post-delivery test and trials phase of operations. 
Sailors assigned to the world's largest aircraft carrier USS Gerald R. Ford's CVN-78 launch and recover an MH-60 helicopter on the flight deck, June 3, 2023. Gerald R. Ford is the U.S. Navy's newest and most advanced aircraft carrier representing a generational leap in the U.S. Navy's capacity to project power on a global scale. The Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group is on a scheduled deployment in the U.S. Naval Forces Europe Area of Operations, employed by U.S. Sixth Fleet to defend U.S., allied and partner interests. The first in-class aircraft carrier USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, conducts flight operations with Carrier Air Wing, CVW. The Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group is deployed in the Atlantic Ocean, conducting training and operations alongside NATO allies and partners to enhance integration for future operations and demonstrate the U.S. Navy's commitment to a peaceful, stable and conflict-free Atlantic region. First-in-class aircraft carrier USS Gerald R. Ford's CVN-78 is underway in the Atlantic Ocean executing its composite training unit exercise, Comtuex, an intense, multi-week exercise designed to fully integrate a carrier strike group as a cohesive, multi-mission fighting force and to test their ability to carry out sustained combat operations from the sea. As the first-in-class ship of Ford-class aircraft carriers, CVN-78 represents a generational leap in the U.S. Navy's capacity to project power on a global scale. PCU Gerald R. Ford arrives at Naval Station Norfolk, footage of pre-commissioning unit Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, arriving at Naval Station Norfolk after completing Builder Sea Trials off the coast. The first of class ship, the first new U.S. aircraft carrier design in 40 years, spent several days conducting Builder Sea Trials, a comprehensive test of many of the ship's key systems and technologies.